Okay, 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 guys and gals, it's Min and Meg again in the kitchen. This here morning with another crisis dish, and this time we're doing a breakfast as usual. Um, we have not been rolling out a lot of breakfast, but it's always in our intentions to do that. Always, 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 always. <laughs> so this morning, what are we up to? We're gonna need some multigrain, healthy multigrain bread. It has a lot of seeds on. Don't know if you guys can see, but that's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need some bread. We're gonna go ahead and take out a few slices to make life easier for us. So multi-grade bread, two slices. Bread. We're gonna need some peppers, red peppers, which you can see over here. We're gonna need some tomatoes. We're gonna need some celery we have here in some water we need some avocado I start mushing that up but you gotta be careful with avocado because they do turn um, brown if you like premature to do that you can put some lemon juice on which I've already done I'm gonna put some more we need some blueberries we're gonna need some cheese it's just a simple breakfast not we need some orange juice and we're gonna need some celery, not celery, we're gonna need some um, orange juice, cheese, blueberry, um, old grain bread, avocado, we're gonna need some green onion, and we're gonna need some baby spinach, okay? So meet me back here in a minute guys for this very healthy but puff pack filling breakfast in this here crisis series, okay? The COVID-19 series is still on. So here we go, we're gonna need some oil. And we're just gonna brush our toast or bread. With that oil to get us some seeds on. This, these are the spinach that we'll be using, the orange juice that we're gonna be using for breakfast this morning. It's Tropicana. And uh, the cheese I'm using, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorites. European cheese selection. That's the one we're going to be using. So guys, it's going to be a simple breakfast, but it's a breakfast that everyone will enjoy. Um, grandma, granddad, let me see what pet can participate in this here one. It looks like a rabbit with the spinach and the avocado. Um, I don't know if rabbit can eat peppers, but doggy will not, or cats will not participate in none of that. None of that. So, yeah, guys, let's go. Meet me back in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to put that away. We're not going to need that quite yet. But here we have the bread. This is a sesame seed we'll be using. We're just pouring the oil, and we're going to brush on the... We're gonna roll the bread and make it so attractive. Then we're gonna put on the sesame seeds. Okay, so that's where we go in, guys. Okay, guys. So what we're gonna do? We, you know how I love to cook with. Um, Potty picks, one of my favorite out there. I love potty picks, makes life easier for me. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and I took a seat here, right here. So I can at least get down to this level. <laughs> we're gonna sort of roll this toast into a funnel. You just so to me, you don't have to do this, but I love an attractive breakfast. It makes me wanna eat, okay? Um, breakfast is never one of my greatest meal for the day and so um, yeah I never get a chance I'm always running so when I get a chance to do breakfast I just like give it my best so we can funnel this breakfast here 
you're gonna make it so beautiful. So we're gonna roll our bread into a kind of funnel. Our knives to give it some little cuts. Okay. Okay, so that's done. And what we're going to do, we're going to get some sesame seeds. Maybe just a teaspoon. And we're going to brush the oil all over the bread. Okay guys, so those, we are done with the bread and we're going to put that on the stove. We're going to just put stove top that one and just keep moving them back and forth until they're done. So we're going to go to the stove in a minute. Okay guys, so our, we put our skillet on medium heat and we are ready to go. So in a little bit, we're going to put in the bread. Okay, and you're just going to keep moving, turning them. Once they start getting a little brown, then we're going to turn them and turn them and turn them, okay? So this is where we are. So in a little bit, we're going to be back. Okay guys, so these are just about done and we're going to remove them and put them aside. We're going to go back to the counter, okay? Okay guys, so now that we're back at the counter, I've already started to prep the peppers and tomatoes. So what I did, I just cut the peppers, cut the peppers in these grooves here and take that out and I put some oil on, cut a tomato put it on and then I'm gonna put some pepper on a bit of salt and again I'm gonna pin this okay so just about okay Okay guys, so here we are with another pepper. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut, this is too big. Just cut off a piece. Once it's done, and these are washed, I just washed them. Okay, just a tomato. I'm just gonna open the tomato. this together and just pin both okay guys so yeah I'm just gonna pin them pin both so that they don't move a little salt a little pepper this one is done also. So now we have, and I'll just put this one over there too. Okay. We have one more to do, and then we're done. And we're gonna put this in our skillet for approximately 10 minutes. Okay guys, now that the tomatoes and peppers are going, we're gonna start the, the cheese, and then we're gonna go to the stove, okay? So let's begin the cheese. Four cheese, Irish, cheddar, Dutch, Gouda, 
um, Danish, a variety, German Swiss. So we're just gonna take some cheese, we're gonna pile them on, and we're just gonna cut them in cubes, okay? We're gonna do two kinds today. Should be interesting. And that's all guys, that's all we need to do. Okay guys, now we're at the stove, so we're just gonna drizzle in just a tad bit of oil, one tad bit of oil, okay? We're just gonna put in our, we're gonna put in our, our peppers and tomatoes. We're gonna put that back on low heat. You can see how it's sizzling and everything. Okay guys, so these are just about done. I'm gonna drizzle on some oil. More salt and pepper, and we're done. Okay guys, so now that we're back at the counter, we just let Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Okay, we're gonna finish up the avocado. We started a little bit to go. And let's use the spoon, the back of the spoon to sort of squish this out a little bit, make it very interesting, creamy and nice, no lumps, nothing. This looks good, looks creamy, looks beautiful. And it's just the back of the spoon that we're using, guys. Just the back of the spoon. Just the back of the spoon. Hey, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put some sea salt on, just a tad bit. Some black pepper. Okay. Usually guys, out of the crisis we use some lemon juice. Now we have to use some lime juice because we don't have lemon no more. <laughs> that's precious commodity. So we put some lime, lime, um, lime juice oil and that's okay too. And just mix this in. Mix it all in. That's good too. We're gonna chop, chop some green peppers and um, Some garlic. Edit that out. Into nowhere there. And so the garlic is finished. I'm just gonna let this sit for a bit, okay? In that salt and pepper, I'm gonna put a little oil before we mix that in, okay? Just a drizzle a little oil in. Let it sit for a minute or two. I'm just gonna pour this in now. And that's done, okay?
guys you were not seeing I don't know what happened the camera swung around I didn't realize it but here we go those are just the And these are just some frozen green onions that we have, okay? Okay guys, so this is practically finished. I'm just gonna drizzle on some on the forward. Just to take out the picks. Now that the work is done. And guys, remember, we are not chefs, you know, we are just self taught. <laughs> we are self taught, okay? We're not chefs. So we're just self-taught. Whatever we do, I like the cut in the bread. This cut is so beautiful. And the, the oil gets in. This is our roasted pepper. And that's that. The avocado. We're gonna put in our orange juice. Okay guys, it looks like the breakfast is done. It looks like the breakfast is done. The breakfast is done guys. I just so love the cheese and that blueberry there. It looks like the breakfast is done. And we're gonna take a couple of shots. We're just gonna take a couple Look like the breakfast is done. We're gonna take a couple of shots and then we're gonna have breakfast. Okay, guys, so this, we just wanna make the table so interesting. For those people who usually go out to eat and all the restaurants are closed now, nobody can move. I just wanna give you still, so you can still have that restaurant. So you still have that restaurant kind of feel about it all. For those parent people who usually go to the restaurant to eat and can no longer go, we just want to give us that, that restaurant feel. And um, so this is our whole um, reason for producing this dish. So you can still feel, have that restaurant feel, you know, like, okay, we're not able to go out, but we can produce something that looks like that, the restaurant. And your family will enjoy it. So, um, yeah, we're not... What would we say? Connoisseurs. We are not master chefs, okay? We are just self taught and we can see anything. Go to a restaurant and we come back and rec recreate. Any restaurants that we go to eat to get the experience and then we come back and we just visualize what did we see there and we can come back here and reproduce just as we've seen it. So we want you guys to have the connoisseur kind of uh, eating and um, something we saw, then we come back and we recreate it. And this is the dish, roasted pepper with tomato. The pepper has that tangy taste, the tomato has that sweet taste. 
then we put on the salt and pepper and um, yeah the meal is ready the meal is ready and um, avocado um, you can put on you can use butter you can use avocado whatever you prefer to do it's fine with us but yeah, and since this is so delicious I think I'll go ahead and take the first bite because this looks so very um, interesting and so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the first bite okay this looks so good looks so delicious and so mmm divine mm, mm, mm. guys this is divine tastes so good mmm mmm Mm, mm, mm. The pepper, the um, garlic, the oil tastes so good here. Mm. This tastes exactly. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> mm. Mm. This tastes exactly like the one we had at the restaurant. Guys, this is the same concept. Same concept. I'm going to go ahead and take some of the cheese. Mmm. Mmm. That cheese tastes so good with that paprika. Mmm. Tastes so good. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, I'm enjoying this breakfast. I'm really enjoying this breakfast here. I can't begin to tell you guys how good it is. Mmm. Mmm. And so, guys, with that, thus ends our cooking for today. We want you guys to do something. We want you guys to go out there, try this breakfast. In this crisis where everything is just going crazy, now we're in total shutdown. Nobody can move. One crazy mess. This is a breakfast for you and your family. The berries are frozen. So, We just use what we got. The, the, the onion, green onion, you see that it's frozen also, but we just used what we got. And it makes too. Makes our, our table so presentable. Our red pepper, everything. So yeah, we want you guys to go out there and then the pet can participate in the baby spinach if that's what you got. And that's gonna be a rabbit. Okay, they will eat that. The elderly can have anything here. And um, the, the children, they're gonna be excited about the cheese and the way it's cut and the, the toast with the sesame seeds and everything. And everybody else in between will enjoy this dish. I want you guys to go out there and try this dish. But more than anything else, I want you guys to come back here and comment. Let us know how yours came out. Did you like it? Did you not, did you not like it? Is it ideal for this kind of crisis that we're in? Yeah, and it's all because of this crisis that we're making do with whatever we can find in the refrigerator. So frozen berries, and um, we can make the orange juice from scratch with oranges if you have roasted pepper. You can just, if you have those in the house, just use whatever you got, the tomatoes, the celery, and the bread. It's just easy, so sesame seeds, it, this friend has sesame seeds already, but then I decided to roll some more sesame seeds on for the sake of the children, and that's very healthy too. And um, the elderly folks can have their coffee or they can have their oranges, whichever they prefer. This is what we prefer this morning, but you don't have to do it that way. Switch it up, guys. Make it interesting. Make the family table, table very interesting. They, 
tomorrow morning your family can look forward to another session and so we just want to thank you guys for stopping by we just want to say until we see you again and this is Meg she's all wrapped up this morning